Good morning and welcome back. I hope you're all ready because today, today is going to be a very big day. So yesterday was our first day here in St. Augustine and we took you to explore the city and got a good lay of the land. But when we got home, we realized that the list we made needs a lot of work. So last night, me and Alicia sat down and we had sort of a draft party of all the things that we wanted to see while we were here and on each of the days that we wanted to do them. So yesterday we kind of wore ourselves out because we just walked around the city and we actually got really hot and really tired really early. So today we're going to do it a little different. Today we're going to start off at the St. Augustine Natural History Museum. And when we get done there, that's actually the first stop for the trolley tour. We're going to take the trolley around the entire city. And we're going to get off and explore all the things along the path that we want to see. So come along with us as we go explore St. Augustine, Florida on day two. Where is that? We, huh? we might see a jail today. I Guess bet, what? I bet it's the oldest one ever. Well, it's just called the old jail. I don't know if it's the oldest, but it's we'll, the old jail. We'll find out. What is that guy doing in the bushes, Kayla? What's he doing? They're black and white. They got their black and white uniform on. That's what the prisoners had to wear a long time ago so that you would know that they were supposed to be in jail. Kayla, do you like what they're wearing? Yeah. Guess who he is? Ashlyn, he was the sheriff. So he was the policeman. You see he has the police badge right here? He was the sheriff. His name was Joe. Look at all this stuff. Oh my. We're such <laughs> tourists today. But this is the way to do it. Yeah. You just come here, you tell the lady all the things you want to do. You get your tickets for the trolley and you get to pay, prepay, for all the experiences that you want to see. Really? You want to pay when you get there. And you just oh. put the sticker on, you walk yeah. through, they know. Really? It's easy. Awesome. So, so what all are we doing here? Well, we're doing the old jail. Yeah. We're doing the oldest store museum experience. Uh -huh. And we are doing the Fountain of Youth. We may do that at the end because that's the last trolley stop. Okay. And then we're also going to do the St. Augustine History Museum. Awesome. So anyway, I think we should go to the jail first because they're just calling for uh, for the line right now. Okay. All right, y'all can take me later. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fibbing. Now, welcome to our Attitude Adjustment Center. Right. That is where they put you because behavior becomes too unruly. And once in this bird cage, you become a jailbird. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, folks, the jokes will get worse. <laughs> hey, y'all. What are y'all in the family suite? He told Tell us to me, pick August this one because it was light and bright. Are y'all jailbirds? Ashlyn says she's taking the top. All right, jump in. There you go. Oh. Okay. Oh. She told me I want out of here. <laughs> got, your, got your walking papers. <laughs> she told me that's the closet. Like we get wardrobe choices. Where's, where do your toys go? Gentlemen, welcome to the sheriff's office. Now you will notice the rooms in here and what's directly above us are the only guests in the rooms in the entire facility. The rest of the place gets oil lanterns. Look at that cell phone. That's <laughs> cool. I don't think you'll be looking at any YouTube on that. So they have all the sheriffs yeah. from this jail, but they're funny because they actually put the current sheriff <laughs> of the town. This was Florida's oldest jail. Yes. Just like being in an RV. <laughs> I think we have more space than them. Hey y'all! <laughs> if only their beds yeah, flipped yeah. up. Yeah. Oh my God. They do flip up. Oh, they do? Well, I thought they did in the other ones. Oh. Then they have a little more room at least. You know, so they can do activities. Right. <laughs> Kayla, are you in jail? Hey, boo. You go in your jail. Go in your jail. <laughs> you go in your jail. Yeah, you go. Go. We're breaking out. Breaking out of the jail. We got to go. Okay, so we just got done exploring the oldest jail in Florida. I guess it's the oldest jail in America. Yeah. Because it's not just Florida. It's the oldest everything here. Yeah. So what would you think about the jail thing? I'm glad the second story was air conditioned, even though it wasn't back then. I can't imagine being 
in jail. He said minimum three to five years. Yeah, and most people only lasted one year. Uh -uh. It was a pretty cool little tour, and it he was. kept it. He kept it lively. Yeah, he kept it entertaining. His name was uh, Jack, I believe, and he was he was fun. Good day to start off our big tourist adventure of St. Yep. Augustine. We checked one thing off the list. We got many more to go. So let's go over here and check out the History Museum of St. Augustine before we get on the trolley. Okay. All right. St. Augustine History Museum. That way. Pretty cool. I know. I like the, all this. Did you see this stuff by the bathroom? It's got all the Bonnaroo and Bailey and the Houdini stuff. Oh, really? It goes with the theme yeah, of all this I stuff. Like all this. It's all the circus and like boardwalk type things. Yeah. All right. Y'all ready to walk through time? Kevin places. <laughs> Are you in your element? Well, it's cool. That, did you know in college, my last elective for the business school was a history class? Was it? It's called the history of pirates and smuggling. Oh God. <laughs> it's cool because it's true. So yeah. it talks about how the Spanish settled here first uh -huh. and then the English started coming in. And yeah. so instead of fighting them, they just hired pirates. Really? And pirates were just like the mercenaries to go do the dirty work you didn't want to be known doing. Oh my goodness. So they'd be goodness. like, hey, we'll give you all the money if you go beat up on the Spanish for us. That's well, then crazy. the Spanish started doing it, and then the pirates ended up taking over everything for a long time. Ah. Because so that's what this is about. You basically paid guys to be criminals, and yeah. then you got mad at them for being criminals. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. The Spanish was here, then the pirates, and then, you know, all this stuff right here. Uh huh. The Caribbean. Yeah. It's because that's where they were finding all the gold and silver. Ah. We just read that the, the most profitable shipwreck they found was worth $450 million. Yeah. That's crazy. There's still shows on TV, I, I think on Discovery Channel, where they're going looking for <laughs> the pirate ship still. I wish you'd find me one of those. Since <laughs> we're going after Spanish treasure, Spanish, like these grocery the prices way better than what we're currently paying. <laughs> Three loaves for 10 cents. All right, so this place is pretty cool yeah. because you start off in that room, uh -huh. which is the original settlers, the Indians of Florida, right. the Florida State Seminoles. Yes. It's not just, it's not, it's not just. <laughs> As you always yeah. tell me, nothing happens by coincidence. So the Seminoles were the first people. <laughs> Things aren't named. And then you come in here, the Spanish period. It's uh -huh. when the Spanish discovered Florida. Yeah. And then you go to the next room and that's the invention of pirates because the Spanish needed help keeping Florida. Right. What do you think the last room is going to be? Don't ask me history questions. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I have no idea. But I bet it involves getting rid of the pirates or something about the English and the Spanish War. Yeah, probably the English-Spanish War because I knew that. I knew about <laughs> that war, let me tell you. <laughs> Where's it going? Uh oh, it looks like it's gonna wreck. Oh, it, I didn't see the break in the track. Oh look, here comes one. He's going backward. Look at pop. Come on, y'all. We were wrong about 
about the last room. Yeah, it ended up being industrializing Florida and making all that other stuff obsolete. Right. <laughs> but it did have the Civil did, War at yeah, the end, but that's 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 way longer. Yeah. So where to now? Now we go on the trolley, right? Either that or there's an old store oh, also. Oh yeah, let's go check out the old store while we're here. It looks good. super portable. <laughs> yeah, super portable. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. seen all the things you can see here the st augustine history museum yep the old jail yep the old store yep and now we're about to get on the trolley which is leaving right now so we'll catch we're about the next we're about to be on that but the next one okay anyway we have this map here and it uh -huh. actually shows the route so we're right here okay. at the beginning yesterday when we came we parked over here by number three right and we just wandered around through all these areas. We actually all walked the all the way to number back. 15. Right. That actually is not as short as it looks. That was, a, once we got here, the girls were done. <laughs> we had to make it all the way back all to number three. All the way back. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna jump on the trolley right here and we're gonna ride it over to, I think, the college. The college. Five yeah, so number college. 10 is where we're gonna get off because that's, that's where we wanted to go yesterday, but it looked like too far of a walk from 14. Yeah. So we're gonna go stop at number 10 and check out the college and this museum possibly. Okay. And then when we get done there, we'll see what's next. All right. Come on, Ashlyn. Come on, K-Boo. I had a real nice break. Where's our first trolley stop? The Flagler College. You know, it's funny. You know what I learned? What? I thought it was about the beach. I know. You know what it's about? It's Guy named Henry Flagler. Yeah, he you know, was the second richest man, he said. You know how he got his money? How? Him and old John D. Rockefeller were business partners in Standard Oil. Ah. And he came down here on vacation and started buying everything. And he built all these churches that y'all just saw. And he built this college. Yeah. And he owns almost all this land down here. That's he, crazy. he basically industrialized this part yeah. of Florida. Beautiful. It's the nicest college I've ever uh, been to, and I think it's just a very small college. Our college was lacking in the landscaping department. Nice. I mean, these big trees don't hurt. I'm but, nice. Oh, you want to be a nurse? We were talking about what college is and how you go to college to learn what you want to be for your profession, and she said she wants to be a nurse. All of a sudden, she wants to be a nurse. So we're going to have to get her cousin Audra to learn her up. Did you have H? Have its own steeple? <laughs> <laughs> if it, 
hey, we actually did have a, a chapel on church or a church. Yeah, but it didn't I look mean, like on that. Campus. Oh no, it definitely <laughs> didn't look like that. And the buildings did not look like this either. So You know what's amazing is this, like I told you yesterday, this feels like when I was in Italy, Yeah. this feels like it was built. I mean, it was built in the early 1900s, but right. it feels like it was built for another country. Yeah. It's it so doesn't cool. feel like America. It's so cool. It's really nice here. There's the college. No. I mean, that's the front. That's, that's the main entrance. That's awesome. It's so beautiful. And what's right across the street over here? We've got the Leitner Museum. There it is. It's also very pretty. Yeah, we thought about doing it, but it's getting to be lunchtime and it kind of looks like there's a lot of breakables in there. I'm not sure oh. about these two. You don't trust those two around a whole <laughs> bunch mean, of museum I'm pieces? I'm sure they have museum putty under everything, but they're a little destructive. We did look it up online. It looks very expensive and very fancy. So yeah. probably not something the kids will enjoy. Yeah. But even the grounds out front are beautiful out here with the fountain. It looks like the... they're really enjoying the fountain. <laughs> So now it's lunchtime. Yeah, I we think. should go find some food and yeah. then get back on our trolley. All right. Okay, so here's a pro tip. When we got here yesterday and we heard the price of the trolley, we didn't think we wanted to do it. But after riding on the trolley today, it's definitely the way to see the city and see all the different sites. We've barely walked anything today. I, I know. feel like I could do this We're all actually, day. We have actually covered, I think, about 12 miles in yeah. the trolley ride. and. We're not tired. Right, and it was what, like 30 something dollars a person yeah. for adults. So I think the kids were free, so it's not too bad. But when they first shock you with that $75 price tag, it's like, oh, to ride a trolley, but it's definitely worth it because there's so much here and it's all spread out. And he tells you about everything. Right. So you casually learn while yeah. getting to the next place. So yeah. don't think of it as a trolley. I think of it as like a bus ticket yeah. to get around the city and yeah. you can use it all day long. And it's an open air trolley, so you get this nice breeze. It doesn't and feel hot in there it's got a canopy over the top definitely the way especially with little ones so like see it after lunch all we gotta do is find the nearest trolley stop catch yep. it again and take it to the next place you want to get off did we just find uh, where alicia wants to go i could have used my degree to work at a place like this yeah <laughs> yet i stayed in omaha and houston where'd you work for boring it doesn't matter i've worked for a few brands Maybe it wasn't the casa monica resort and spa not. in san Augustine, florida oh i could have i could have got down with this <laughs> i guess i could still put my degree to use if you want to retire here i'll come work <laughs> i don't know if we can afford to be here forever <laughs> yeah i don't think this is going to pay the bills <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is the governor's house and we were actually here yesterday but they were closed on tuesdays but since we've already done all the tours we did this morning at the old town Time Jail and the St. Augustine Cultural Museum. We're not going to do that today, but it's right here in front of the plaza we were at yesterday. And here is the church we visited yesterday. And now we're going down St. George Street to find some food. So we just got done eating here on St. George Street at the Prohibition Kitchen. And since we're so close to the fort, we're gonna walk across the street and check it out before we get back on the trolleys. Hey, guess what? What? We're at our first national park, or it's actually a national monument. Yeah. Since we left out west. I know, it's been a long time. This is our first time to do one in Florida. I feel like we're gonna be a little rusty on the old Junior Ranger program. Well, we'll find out when we get inside. <laughs> she said we had to go check at the gift shop, but yeah. we get to get our stamps and our patches. We yeah. haven't done this in oh, so long. Oh yeah, we get new patches this time, yay. Let's go check this fort out. Ready? Stamp time. Are first we gonna stamp? Actually, it's our first one. Oh, hold on, Nash. It's our first one. It's You're gonna Florida. do one too? Thank you. What do we pick? She chose the Centennial. Did you find right. one? We got this, and we got these guys. I'll I kinda say like that this one. one. 
Mama, do you have homework? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you so got a junior ranger? Single-sided piece of paper. And hey. Kayla is so excited to do her own. I might just get lucky and not have to help. Oh, this one looks like it's just A, <laughs> a or B. They already give you the answers. Right? Multiple choice. Ashlyn, let's go sit at this bench and do it. Is this where they slept? Oh, this looks much better than that gel Why'd well, they gotta sleep downhill? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That's where they eat. Yep, over there is where they cook their food in front of the fireplace. She thinks you're a pirate. I am not a pirate. I'm a soldier. <laughs> a soldier. I will protect you against a pirate. Yeah, he was what, who was in here protecting them from yeah. the pirate. Yeah, you wanna see what they were looking for? There's no pirates here, are there? You see a pirate? You see any pirates? No. Okay, this is for two years old. I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. Because sometimes they want to put it in their mouth. Oh, okay. Now you look at it. Look at one oh, side. Let's look at it. What it looks like. Okay, one of the sides. You see what looks like two lions uh -huh. and two castles. Two lions and two castles. That's okay. Castile and Leon, the king and queen of Spain. Oh, this is what the money wanted. looked like. So That's if you see a pirate. Wanted. When we go on that pirate boat, we'll have to hide it, okay? <laughs> what do you tell him? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you going to give me that gold? Mm. Why not? <laughs> it's hers to protect, right? Where'd you hide it? In my pocket. You think the pirates are going to get it in there? Mm. What about you, Kayla? Where's your gold? Show Daddy your gold. She got in her hand. You showing the pirates? <laughs> oh, oh, do you want to turn this in? Memory for Why don't you give it to him and see all if it's right, all good. Let's see. It is all good. What's your name? Ashley. You know my name? What's my name? What is he? Is he a ranger? Yeah. My name's Lewis. <laughs> no. Ranger Lewis. Ranger Lewis. Part ranger. Arr, Lewis. Here you go. Be careful because it's a pin, okay? Don't want to stick yourself with it. Do you want yours? What do you say? Here you go, Pops. What do you say, Ashlyn? Thank you. You're welcome. Our pleasure. Are you on the Princess Tower? Is this the Princess Tower? What are y'all doing in here? You know what princess is? Oh, I'm the pirate? Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you going to give me that gold? Hey, so you can see almost everywhere we've been. I know, it's really cool up here. So, over there is the church we went to the first day. Yeah. There's the college we went to today. Oh, yeah. There's the other church we saw earlier this morning. Uh-huh. And there's the pirate ship right over there. Yep. 
We should have came here first so we could see everything. I know, see where everything was going to be. Although we would have taken the trolley from day yeah. one. <laughs> Why don't I had to walk to all those places? Oh, and way over there, see that American flag way over there? That's that's where the oldest house was. Yeah, that was way too that's far. That's really far away. <laughs> Poor planning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just got done exploring the fort. Now we're going to go catch the trolley and take it back to the Fountain of Youth. Guess what? The trolley's finally coming. I hope it stops here and we I know. don't have to run because I can't no, no. run. See, I have, a, I have a plan. See right here on this hill? It's going to stop anywhere from there to there. Uh -huh. So we're in the middle. So I'll just run and stand in front of it so y'all catch up. <laughs> And we're for sure getting on that one. And if it goes in the road over there, yeah. by the way, we have no idea where it's supposed to stop. It, it looks really full. I'm gonna run out there and just stand until y'all get on. It also looks super full. It actually looks over full. Yeah. They're probably just gonna keep on driving. Uh, Come on, what's coming in here? Uh -oh. I'm so Kevin. excited. Let's see where it stops. We're, there's, I don't think there's any seats. Uh, no. <laughs> People are gonna have to get off. <laughs> Come on, y'all. You want to see this fort. Tell them to come see the fort. It's, Go up there and start selling it. It's amazing. It actually was pretty cool. <laughs> come see the fort. Come see the fort. AC, hey, she thinks it's amazing. <laughs> So that was called the Senator Tree, and it's the oldest living citizen here in St. Augustine. They say it's about 600 years old. They say there's an older tree just down the road, which we showed you in a two videos ago called the Fairchild Tree. We checked it out when we were at Bulo State Park. Isn't that pretty? Is that pretty? He shook his feathers. <laughs> Look at him. So that means you're holding him meaning to. He's peacocking. Look, there's a white peacock back right there. Let's do it again. So guess what the Fountain of Youth actually is? What? It's actually nothing to do with the Fountain of Youth. He never found it. But this is America's first and oldest settlement. Yeah? This is where they first landed. Right out there. I thought they said they tasted the water. They did, but it was just But it was, it was it's just a myth. A myth. Oh. Yeah, he was searching for the Fountain of Youth. That's how he got funding to come over here. Yeah? So he told rich people he'd come find some water that'd oh. make them uh, young again. Okay. They gave him money and then he came over here I found St. Augustine, Florida. Oh my gosh. This is the place to get the close up. They think we're getting the food. So they're, they're, well, none of these have a tail. When, Ash, when, when, does, or, no. when Ashlyn showed us, or showed them the shells, they all came up because they think it's food. Yeah, yeah but look. Look, this one's got a tail. Seashell. Seashell. And what, look, he jumped from look up what? there. To the roof and then flew over here. What are you doing up there? Then. I didn't know y'all could do that. We are doing okay. crazy goat things. Oh. Look at him. Look, there's, there's, look at him. It's like the seagulls. Mine, mine. Look at this guy. Oh my Uh-oh. I know. Uh-oh. scared me while I go. 
And then one flew over the fence. Look at them. I did not know they got on things. I didn't either. They did see y'all. <laughs> How did y'all even get up there? We just got done with the Fountain of Youth, and I think we're finally gonna call today a day. Yeah. Alicia, how did you enjoy our super tourist day here in St. Augustine? <laughs> we did have a very touristy day. I think we did all the things, it felt like. And the thing is, and we didn't do all the things. I know, we only did, what, four or five things? Yeah. And you said, like you said, we could spend probably at least half a day, if not a full day, in each of the places that we went today. We just kind of did a brief overview of each of them. Yeah. But if you had the time, you could really immerse yourself in it and stay there for hours and hours. Well, the Fountain of Youth is right down there. And yeah. the reason we're walking on this street is because it's closer to walk to the truck than it is to wait for the trolley. Yeah, I didn't want to wait the 15 minutes. I'm ready to go home. I'm so tired. But you could spend an entire day in there. Oh, yeah. You could spend an entire day at the fort. Yeah. You could spend an entire day at the college area and Absolutely. all that stuff. And we did it all in one day. Actually, we did it in eight hours. I know. I'm, I'm shocked the girls lasted as long as they did, but I'm super thankful because we had a lot to check off for today. I didn't realize there was so much to do here in St. Augustine. I know. And you, would you say it's like every place we go to is like its own little theme park. Yes. Kinda. Like everyone's dressed in character. It's it's, it's so super the cool. The whole town is in on it though, so it makes right. it fun. Right. It's, it's awesome. I love this place. So, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, Mama's calling a rest day. But we might do a little tiny adventure in the morning if we wake up and feel good. But for the afternoon... We're hanging at the camper because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sure they're very tired too, but they're not carrying a baby and my feet are done. <laughs> so anyway, tomorrow we might do a small adventure. Yeah. And then we're gonna show them what it's like to hang out at the camper on a down day. Right, to see what it's like. So we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.